now welcome back to my channel today we are going to get into my february favorites i have several fails in this video as well sometimes i don't have as many fails but this video has kind of got them so i wanted to share them with you guys we're gonna jump right into it i have a lot of favorites that i have been playing with for the month of february one of them kind of creeped up on me and kind of blew my mind so i'm gonna jump right into that first this this is from Silouette This is the first care activating serum. Okay. So story on this, just real quick. I got a sample of it from one of my Sephora packages. I don't know how long I've had that sample. Who knows how long I've had it. And I had recently kind of organized my samples. So who knows when I got it. So I thought, well, I wonder what this is from Silo Sue. I've heard a lot of great things about that brand. I'm going to try this sample. Now, this is the Lunar New Year edition. So this is like way bigger than the others. This is like $150 for four ounces. I think the regular one, I think is like $89 for two ounces or something like that. So this is the limited edition one. When I went on to buy it, I thought, I love this stuff so much. I'm buying the big bottle. Okay, here we go. Let me get into it. So the sample I got, I I had enough in there to do two, okay? Two, two applications. So I put it on and it was like a toner. So I washed my face, did my, you know, remove my makeup, washed my face. So then I dried off the water and put this directly over fresh cleansed skin. So it's like a toner. So I kind of grabbed a little paper that I had and kind of fanned it and let it dry for a second. And then I went on with my regular skincare routine. I woke up the next morning and I'm looking in the mirror and I'm like, my skin looks so bright. And like, what? I was shocked. I was like, I, I wonder if it's that Stella with Sue stuff. So I thought, okay, okay, let's try this again. So that evening, washed off my face, done the whole thing, used the rest of that sample. I thought maybe it was a fluke. So I woke up the next morning and I was like, and this part right here looked like a smooth little dream that I had. And I was like, what in the hell is this stuff? So I started digging through my samples. I was like, I got to find me another sample because I'm not going to spend that much money unless I really know that this stuff works, right? So I'm digging through my samples. Fortunately for me, I find one more sample of this stuff. Can you believe it? So I'm, I find the sample do it again woke up the next morning and it even looked better than it did the day before and i was like what is this stuff so again my two samples i was able to kind of stretch for a four-day period by that fourth day y'all i bought the i was like give me that stuff right now i need it in like a i need it in a keg i, I don't know what's in this i i can't tell you i haven't heard anybody talk about it it was based on a sample experience but i am here to tell you I picked this up probably early February, probably maybe like 9, 10, maybe the 9th, 10th, 11th, something like that. As, the, as I've continued to use this every single night, I have noticed that I am using less and less and less of my Charlotte Tilbury powder. So you all watch me, you all know that when I'm doing my makeup and this is like my final step, I go in with a brush and I like to smooth this area out just to kind of get this area a little bit more smooth because you know as we age this can get a little bit crazy and let me tell you something i'm using that less and less and less because this has smoothed my skin out it's brightened my complexion i have a lot of great skincare in my collection and i have had products that i use them wake up the next morning and feel a difference but not like this this stuff is like i don't know it's shit and rainbow magic i don't know what's in it but it's unbelievable so let me go ahead and give you the details on this. Well, as I got looking at it, I noticed it has like 200 reviews. I think it's 200, almost 200 reviews. And it's a 4.8 out of 5 star. As I'm going through it and I'm reading the reviews, they're having the same experience. Their skin is looking more bright, more firm, like the whole nine yards. And also I feel like this stuff allows my moisturizer to really absorb into my skin. So I use the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. When I wake up, when I used to, before I started using this, I'd wake up in the morning and my skin wouldn't be as dewy, obviously, but it would still kind of have a dew. 
now that I'm using this, I wake up in the morning and I, hard, I hardly have any dew left on my skin from that Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, which is very heavy. I'm going to be switching to the water cream once the spring comes, but during the winter I use the uh, Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream, and it's very emollient and it's very dewy. There's something to be said about this. I'm going to continue to use it, you guys. And I wish that I would have like, I, I didn't buy it to review it. So it wasn't like I was taking pictures to kind of show how this brightened my skin. But I'm here to tell you, this stuff, I don't know what the heck is in this, but it's unbelievable. So the description on this, so it says, your first step to radiant skin reinvented. Take the next step to radiance and achieve a youthful looking skin with the new and improved First Care Activating Serum. The luxurious formula hydrates, nourishes, visibly firms, while boosting absorption of products applied on top, which is definitely what I've experienced. This best-selling K-Beauty serum is the coveted step to getting a visibly smooth glass skin level glow. It has made the biggest difference on my skin and I am completely blown away by it. I'm going to continue to use it. I use one pump of it and it does my whole face. So it's not like you need to use a lot. I have a feeling this four ounce bottle is probably going to last me a year. I don't know. But at the end of the day, I am noticing a visible difference when I wake up. So I know the Sephora cell is coming up. If you guys haven't heard, the dates were launched today. So I'll put them right here on the screen. I recommend picking up this product during the Sephora sale. Now, if you order it from the, uh, from the Silua Sue website, you can actually save 10% off your first order if you've never ordered from them, if you don't want to wait for the Sephora uh, sale. But I had to share with it, you guys. I don't know what's in it, but it's like pissing, shitting, crazy, magical rainbows that just make the skin look amazing. Okay, let's move on. Okay, I just had to share that with you. Let's move on to a few makeup products that I've been loving for the month of February. Yes, I'm still loving my Tartlet uh, Juicy Palette. I can't put it down, but we're not going to talk about her because I talked about it last month. There's no reason to talk about it. I'm obsessed with it. Uh, let's talk about this palette from NARS. This is called the Uninhibited Palette. So as I mentioned in my review, this is very similar to the same formulas that are in the Skin Deep palette, which is right up my alley because it's one of my favorite palettes. It's exactly like the Skin Deep palette. I have fallen in love with it. It's a different color story, and I've actually been kind of pairing them together, but I love this palette. It's small, simple, easy to use, very pigmented, absolutely beautiful. So had to share that with you guys. Let's talk about these from Auric. So I've been really enjoying this product from Auric. My only problem is I have to mix these two shades together. So I have Pyrite and Citrine. Now Pyrite is a little bit too silver based for my skin. So it's almost like a cool tone silver base. You see how it's kind of got a silver beige tone. You see how beige it is. So I can't, I don't really like it as a highlighter, but when I mix it, with citrine, it's stunning, but citrine is a little bit too dark for me. So I'm kind of an in-betweener. It's kind of crazy, but this is citrine and this is pyrite. So when I connect them and mix them together, it becomes this gorgeous, like golden glow that has the perfect, I mean, look, it almost matches my skin to a perfection and it is beautiful. Now, I still do not like this all by itself. I can't imagine me ever wearing this by itself. It's so much highlight. It's so much glow. I, I look like an oily, gross mess. But I love it underneath foundation, and I love it over top of my foundation, and I love it mixed with my foundation. And now that I've used it more and more since I reviewed it, I still think I like the Charlotte Tilbury a little bit more because I don't have to mix. And the reason why I say that is because Charlotte Tilbury just launched new shades in her Hollywood Falls filter. This is four and a half. Now this does have a little bit of a beige tone, but it also has some warmth to it, and it looks so much better on my skin than the pyrite. The Charlotte Tilbury is definitely more of a sheer formula, and so it doesn't show the tone quite like the Auric. And the 4.5 has been perfect for my skin. I still love the Charlotte Tilbury. I don't can't really tell you which product I like more because I actually like them both the same. I know, I know you probably want to slap me through the camera. I'd want to slap me too. But I I have to say. Overall, 
I think I prefer mixing the Auric in the foundation more than the Charlotte Tilbury because it is a thicker formula and I think it gives the foundation a little bit more um, thickness to it. I think I prefer the Charlotte Tilbury under the skin more so than the Auric because I feel like it kind of dries and sets down more so than the Auric because the Auric is so like moisturizing. But I prefer the Auric over the skin uh, because it's got a little bit more opacity, a little bit more of a shine, but I do have to mix them to do it over the skin. So it's kind of like, that's why I said I can't really pick between the two because I like the Charlotte Tilbury for one thing and I like the Auric for the other. So it's hard to pick which one I like better, but they're all amazing. At the end of the day, they're all amazing. I also really like these pots. Uh, these are the Smoke Reflex. I've been using these consistently since I got them. They are amazing. Fantastic formula, fantastic, just so beautiful, very versatile. And I have the shades Temper and Defiance, and I've actually been kind of mixing them where I've been using the topper from Defiance over top of Temper or vice versa. You can kind of play around with them. They're absolutely amazing. So good. Let's talk about this highlighter from Miss Pat McGrath. Girl, this highlighter is something special. This Gelee, Gelee, I don't know how they say it, it's too fancy for me, but the Gelee formula, <laughs> it is beautiful. It is such a beautiful highlighter. So I like how it has the pink with the gold, like a champagne gold, because a lot of pink base highlighters have the silver, and I'm not a big fan of the silver pink highlighter. It doesn't really look good on my skin tone. This is just, uh. Mm, mm. She did a great job on that highlighter. Mm -hmm. So far, this is my favorite highlighter of 2021. It's beautiful. It's so pretty. I can't stop using it. It's so pretty. Right now, I'm actually wearing the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude, which, by the way, I will leave a full list of what I'm wearing on my face in the description box down below. I'm not wearing this today, but this is a beautiful highlighter. And it, it uh, mm. Let's talk about this palette from Charlotte Tilbury. This is called the Super Nudes. I have been using this a lot recently. So I reviewed this several months ago. I will link this video up in the iCards. I don't remember when it was. This is a very creamy formula from Charlotte Tilbury. It's a creamy matte. And I have been just, I, I recently pulled it back. I mean, look at that swatch, y'all. I recently pulled it back out. I noticed that on the Sephora website, these don't have the best rating, which is very surprising to me because this is such a pigmented, easy to use palette. I mean, look at that. It is, you guys, did you just see what I just did on my hand? These shades are amazing the way that they blend. I mean, they are just so buttery. Now that's coming from somebody that I don't really like the creamy formula from Natasha Denona. So I am surprised that I like this as much as I do. With the, with the Natasha Denona Creamy Formula, it's almost like it's too creamy, and I have a hard time kind of packing it on and then blending it out. But I recently pulled this out. I don't know, I've been using it for probably three or four weeks now, and I love it. I reach for it all the time. When I'm not reaching for that crazy Tarte palette that I'm obsessed with, I have just been really loving this. I'm wearing this today. Uh, I wore it a couple of days ago when my husband and I went to dinner. Like, it's just one of those easy palettes that gives me no fallout. Like, I get no fallout from it. And it blends and just gives me such a rich look in the eye, like in the crease. I have kind of recently fallen back in love with it. And it's amazing. It's so, so pretty. Let's talk about the products that I didn't like for February. <laughs> I'm going to briefly get into this. I'm going to talk about two products from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Oh, this highlighter is so horrible on me. I don't know what it is, but it's green and weird looking on my skin. So this is their new iced out highlighter. It's got kind of like a holographic and it's like, it's got like a green, yellow, gold base with the white. For me, on my skin tone, it almost turns a little bit green. I do not like this highlighter on my skin. Now, I've known a lot of people have been raving about it, and they love it. But as you blend it out, it kind of, I don't know if it's showing up on camera, but it'll start to have a gold, like a, like a gold green cast. And it's really weird on my skin, and I do not like the color of it. Not even a little bit. 
not even a little bit. And I was really excited about it because I was like, oh, it's got kind of the same embossing as the um, M. Raze, which to me is one of the best highlighters they've ever created. And this is just, oh my gosh, it's not pretty on me. It's so wretched. I just cannot get over the green cast. It's supposed to be kind of a gold white, right? So it's supposed to have this really pretty white gold shift in it, but it looks green on my skin. It's horrible. I, yeah, it doesn't work. So neither does this. And everybody loves this stuff. This is the Brow Freeze Brow Styling Wax. Oh my gosh, I've used this so many times. I mean, so many times. The biggest complaint I have with this is that it starts to, once it starts to dry and attaches the hair, it looks powdery. Like it gets these little powder flakes in it, just like your hair. So for example, this is like gel, okay? This is like straight up gel. Let me show you. This is straight up gel. So look at that. It's like thick and it's like gel, right? So it's almost like one of those really, really thick, thick, thick gels for your hair that you would put in your hair. Put it in your brows and then I'm, you know, I put a pencil through it or I go to set it. And as it starts to dry, it starts to get these little powdery, like almost dandruff look gross to it. I do not like it. I don't know how everybody else is making it work. I have been trying it over and over and over and over and over. And every single solitary time I use it, it makes my eyebrows look like I have dandruff in it. It has not nowhere, it's not near as good as my 24 hour brow setter. That is my favorite brow setter of all time. And this stuff just, oh gosh, it just does not work for me. And it's crazy because so many people are loving this and I am just not a fan. I can't get it to work. It just makes my brows look way worse by the time I'm done. I'm just, I'm like done. It's just not meant for me. At the end of the day, it's not meant for me. The other product that people seem to be raving about is this, and this is not meant for me either. This is from Becca. This is the Light Shifter Dewy Tint uh, Illuminator. And this is way too much highlight for my skin. This is almost as much highlight as this from Auric. This has a lot of highlight and it looks gross at the end of the day. Oh my gosh. About two hours in, it starts to look really just, uh-uh. It highlights everything you don't want it to. And it's weird because, I mean, you can see, look how much, look how much shine it has to it. Imagine putting that over wrinkles <laughs> and texture, and it's just not pretty on me. I've worn it several times thinking, well, maybe if I really sheer it out. But if you look at it, it is very similar to the Auric as far as how much highlight it has in it. Like this stuff has a lot of highlight in it. So this is the Auric and this is the Becca. And you can see it has a lot of highlight. I mean, look at that highlight beaming off these lights. I look like a, I look like a, like a, like a shiny moon, like my head, my full, whole face is just shining. It is not pretty, you guys. It is not pretty on me, not even a little bit. And it's crazy because I could see maybe younger people liking it, but oh, it emphasizes every line. See how it looks on the, my hand. See the creases in my hand? It emphasizes every line in my hand like a highlighter would. Mm-mm, mm-mm. No, 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 my friends. No, mm -mm. it's too much. It's got way too much highlight in it. It does not look pretty. Now, I would recommend mixing this in with a foundation. I think it would be pretty, but not wearing it alone, y'all. It's too much highlight. And there's a point where you got too much glow. It's, it's, a, it's too much glow for me. It's just way too much. It does not look pretty. And I walk around looking like I'm beaming off of every light. And I've worn it several times, like four or five times. It's not pretty. Mm -mm, no. It's crazy because so many people love it. Not me. Oh my gosh. It highlights everything I don't want it to highlight. <laughs> then we have this. Oh, Lord have mercy. I still don't know what the hell this is. I can't tell you what it is. Because I have no idea. But this was launched with the Becca Skin Tint. So this is called the Light Shifter Finishing Bell, and it's the Star Hugger number three is the shade. First of all, this got hard panned the very single first time I used it. I got this like weird, gross stuff right here. This isn't a powder. I don't know what this is, but you apply it and it does 
absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. And let me tell you something. When you're going over top of this that's so highlighty and so beaming off of every single, like you're shining from the moon, this does absolutely nothing over top of this. So, I mean, I don't know what it is. This powder is completely, absolutely pointless to me. It has no effect to the skin whatsoever. None. So if I take this buffer brush and I go in and I dig, I mean, I dig and dig and dig and I'm like, oh, okay, there's some on there. And then I go to like powder it and I'm like, but where the hell is it now? It's gone. There's nothing in it. There's no powder. It doesn't leave anything to the skin. It's completely pointless to use. If you guys have this powder and you have found a way to make it work, please let me know in the comments down below because this shit has completely baffled me. I'm just curious if anybody else has made this work. <laughs> you gotta let me know because I can't figure that crap out. So that's it, you guys. Those are my favorites and fells for the month of February. Now, I will be doing a review update video. I'm going to be going through all of the recent products that I've, because I've been doing a lot of full faces, either a full face of new makeup or a full face of, uh, of one brand. So I've got a lot to update y'all on, okay? But I really didn't want to do it in this video because I kind of wanted to save it for my review update. So that's it for the video. Sound off down below in the comments section. Have you guys tried anything in this video that I discussed and what is your experience? And let me know. Does anybody else in the comments section down below use this from Silua Sue? And if you do, did you have the same experience I did where you woke up the next morning and felt like you had like dropped eight, five, ten years off your skin? Like it's crazy how this works. So I'm curious if anybody else has had that experience with the Silua Sue serum because that stuff is bomb. So sound off down below in the comments section and let us know. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you all in my next video. Love you.